Hi, this is Lars Shudat, as usual, bringing you the uh, secrets on trading, investing, technical charts, commodities. Many of you have actually asked me if there are some secrets or a particular methodology to master technical charts. And so over the years of dealing with millions of traders, investors, and looking at what people finally end up doing, I've put together a list of 15 trading secrets, and, and these are because it's based on my proprietary methodology, 15 trading secrets for mastering the charts, or 15 secrets of mastering the charts. In this particular video, I'll run you through all the 15, and then of course I'll put videos out with each topic being discussed in detail. So what are the 15 secrets to mastering technical charts? Well, the first one is, what is a chart exactly? Well, it's a collection of our uh, collective uh, psychology in the markets and you know we'll discuss exactly what that means. Uh, secret two is price, volume uh, and time. We'll discuss exactly how these come together to give you one of those riskless trades that you're looking for. Then there's of course resistance and support. It's one of the most critical aspects of trading, finding stocks with resistance and supports. Secret number four is the stop loss. Rarely used but it's amazing because it's uh, one of the best assets you have as a trader. Step 5 is accumulation and distribution. Finding these stocks or picking a stock at the right time when it can really give you multi-bagger gains. You don't have to be there every day. You just need that right time, right place and then you get the multi-bagger gains. Secret 6, a rise takes time and falls are swift. Something we always forget but we'll discuss that topic. Secret number 7, the head, body and tail of a trade. How a stock moves from its head to its body to a tail and where you should be to exactly make the money on the lowest risk. See, it's very important for me to see that your risk is covered. You know, usually we think of the profits but forget the risk, but in this case, the head, body and tail of a stock's rise, or for that matter, its fall. Then, of course, is the human aspect of this, developing your own psychology to deal with charts. We'll discuss how you can practice that. I mean, it's not a God-given gift. We can all work on it. Secret number eight. And secret number nine is candlesticks. You know, there are all kinds of charts, but candlesticks are the charts you really want to work on uh, because that's one of the best graphic representations of what will happen. You'll be amazed how your trading performance improves once you've understood candlestick charts. Secret number 10, reading charts for day trading and long-term trading. Well, there is no one-size-fits-all. Uh, you know, what, you, what the charts that you read for day trading can be completely different from what you need to look at long-term trading. We'll discuss some of that. Secret number 11, the integrity of the charts. Well, look, uh, if the charts are being driven because of real supply and demand, they will have integrity. But, you know, I mean, they are susceptible to manipulation, especially those charts which have, where the stocks have very low liquidity or heavily controlled by one or two or three people. We'll discuss why the integrity of the charts is so critical. Secret number 12. Well, when it's over, it's over. Think of how many times you've not gotten out of a stock thinking it was going to come back. And where do we end up? I mean, total disaster. So when it's over, it's over. I'll discuss with you some strategies how you should quickly take your losses rather than sitting with loss-making stocks. Secret number 13, when charts fail, do charts fail? Of course they do. Well, I mean, you know, uh, I told you about, uh, uh, you know, uh, the collective psychology of human beings. I mean, a democracy can only work when everybody really does vote. I mean, if the votes are manipulated, then of course even a democracy fails. The same way, if charts are manipulated, well, charts can fail and we'll discuss how and when they do that. Secret number 14, cutting out the noise. You know, uh, I, I want you to think about how many hours you've sa uh, sat through watching financial television. I mean, sometimes it's an average of three to four hours a day. Okay, fine, do it. But please tell me, has your performance gone up by three or four times? Has your performance gone up by six or seven times? Well, there is no substitute for self-education. And that's the bottom line. I mean, you can keep watching and it's entertainment at the end of the day. So, you know, uh, uh, the issue here, uh, really here is how do you cut out noise? Some of it is pure noise. Actually, 90% of it is pure noise. I'll discuss exactly which one is and what you can cut out. And then, of course, step number 15. Finding trades that fit you. Do you wear clothes that everybody else wears? Do you take the same fashion everybody else have? Is your hairstyle the same as everybody else's style? But why do you think trades are all the same? They're very different. And so we will then accumulate the first 14 secrets and then put together secret number 15, finding trades that fit you. These are Ashudat's 15 secrets for mastering the charts. 
You don't want to be in the market without them. Uh, some of them may seem like common sense, but believe me, 99% of us are in the markets with no idea what these 15 secrets are. You'd say, well, why doesn't anybody share it? Well, that's the whole issue, right? If the whole world knew how this works, uh, then 10% people won't make. That's why these 15 secrets are important, but then you have to work on them yourself and be on the other side of the fence, which is the 10% which does make money. So you can catch Ashudat's uh, 15 secrets uh, to mastering the charts, of course, uh, on uh, uh, video. You can get it at Ashudat TV. Uh, you can also uh, you find them as an online course or a certification if you want at www.ashudat.com. I will be putting out each topic separately, so don't miss any of them. And as I said, you know, well, it's like this, right? I mean, uh, it's like 15 keys to succeeding. You need every key. Uh, you cannot have 13 keys. And even if you have all the 15, uh, make sure that you have the DVD or you have the course as a reference guide when you're in trouble, when you're figuring out your trades are going wrong, go and check the right secret that you've missed and it'll be a great help to you. Goodbye.